Hello, this is Paula with Insured Mine. I thought I'd take a few minutes to help you with some basic navigation around the Insured Mine portal. So if you're a new user, when you first log in, you'll see this Get Started screen. So this is just the simple steps for you to complete your profile, connect your work email, if you wanted to set up your scheduler, and of course, verifying your email. So before you send out any campaigns, um, it's a simple process for a request for us to verify the email. And then of course, add your email signature. And then if you have any additional members um, within your agency. So keep in mind, this is very generic. Um, and many of you will be connected with an agency management system and some of you won't be. So on this page, um, this is the get started. If you go up to the top right hand side where your profile picture is, um, you can remove the get started page from here as well. And then while we're still on this page, if you wanted to update your profile picture, um, you can do that here in the center of the page and just make sure you save and continue. So I'm just going to navigate back to the dashboard. So we'll start here. And there are some icons that I want to show you. So there is the ability. Some of you may have admin or administrative authority, or some of you may be an agent, or another option is a manager as well. So a manager would also be the leader and maybe few people report to you. So as a manager, you would be able to see yourself and your team. The admin has a magic wand. So that allows the admin to set permissions in the portal, set up users, and do some basic um, functionality in that space. So over here on the top right, again, is your profile picture. And then to the left of that, if you're set up with phone, you'll see a phone log. And then you'll also see a text messaging area and then to the left of that are any notifications. And then there's an orange button for new actions. So this opens up a host of options where you can you know, quickly send an email or maybe you wanna add a task. Um, if you're connected with thanks.io, so you would have the ability to send um, a handwritten or um, postcard, note card, or letter. And then, of course, um, there is a refresh the dashboard. And then, of course, if you have any agents that report to you, then they would be listed here as well. And then continuing on the top left is our smart search option. So you can quickly search in here um, for a client or a prospect. And you can search by policy, contact, or the actual account and then give it a moment and it will pop up. There's also an advanced option here if you click on the magnifying glass. So if you want to get a little bit more specific in your search, you can do that from there. I'll go back to the dashboard. And then on the left hand side, these are our modules. So you'll see that you can open and close that side menu, which will give you more space. So these are the different modules within the portal. So currently we're on the dashboard. And from the dashboard, you can come in and you can have the ability to see different dashboards. So if you're um, a sales leader, maybe you want a specific sales dashboard and you can mark that as your favorite. So when you log in, that will show. If you happen to be doing the marketing with your agency, then you can utilize that dashboard. And then continuing down the left are all of your accounts. And then it'll show whether they're active or prospects. And then from this page, you can also have other functionality. So if you wanted to add an account from here, you could do that. And then anytime you see the three dots, wherever you are within the portal, it'll always open up another menu for you to have more actions. Navigating to the left, within a page, you can filter. So if you want to filter by tags or policy count or account types, you can do so. 
There is also the ability for you to bring in more table columns into view. So maybe you don't have a huge monitor where you can see all of the fields. So if you wanted to bring in phone number, um, you could do that as well. And then of course, make sure you save any changes. And then anytime you see the magnifying glass on the right-hand side of the page, this is where you can actually search the page for um, a contact or a prospect. The search up here at the top left is what we call our global search. That will search everything. So continuing on down, you'll be able to see policies, whether they're active, inactive, or future policies, right? Because maybe they haven't become active yet. And then again, there's also the ability to filter and then to reset your filters if you needed to, and of course, apply. And then again, the table columns. So if you wanted to bring more fields into view, and then again, the search for that particular page. Carriers is the same. So these will be your carriers. You can click into the carrier. Um, you can see how many policies you have with each carrier. And again, you have the three dots to perform more actions, add a carrier, again, search the page. Categories are your lines of business. So if you are connected with an agency management system, these will come over on the integration. And if not, then you can add them up here by adding a carrier. Again, the three dots, and then you can refresh the page. And oftentimes when you do changes in the portal, it's always good to refresh. And then of course you can always search as we discussed earlier. Contacts are all of your contacts, whether they're active, prospects, leads, inactive, or others. And again, search if you want to uh, manage tags, filter again, um, table columns, and then you'll see the three dots, which will be more actions. So if you wanted to you know, quickly send James Soto a quick text message, or maybe you wanted to assign a task to a teammate to call James, you could do that from here. And then you also have the ability to perform other actions within this page. So in the event you have James and Montserrat and you want to actually merge them, or maybe you want to add a tag to them, or now they've become five-star clients in your view, um, or if you wanted to add X dates, so there's some additional information that you can do or tasks to perform. Pipeline is your sales pipeline. Um, it can also be for renewals, um, service. So there's a host of functionalities within the pipeline. And again, just to look across the top of the page. So anytime you see the three dots, you can perform more actions. And then in here within the deal board settings um, in the gear icon, you have the ability to get specific in your settings. And then going back to the pipeline, um, again, you can search. You can also add a deal from here. So if you wanted to add a deal card, you can either put it in your private or your shared board. And then, of course, continuing on down to fill in each blank as you go to make sure that you capture the best data, because the more fields you fill in, the better data and analytics that you'll get. Again, you can filter. So if you wanted to filter your deal board, you can. Um, you can also look at a compact view. You can look at default cards. I have the extended view right now. And then this is what's open. And then you can always look at all the deals that you've won, as well as the deals that you've lost. And then that's everything. And then this icon is a forecast view. So if you look at a card here for Robert, um, Harry, you'll see that we've given him an expected premium, but we didn't give him an expected revenue. A lot of agencies will do the commission as the revenue. So what the forecast view does is that if you give it an expected premium and an expected revenue and you give it an expected closing date, then the forecast view will show you how many deals are expected to close in which month 
for how much. And then continuing over, if you wanted to look at card view or you wanted to look at list view. And then remember, I'm signed in as the admin right now. So I'm going to see all of my options, whether it's the shared board, or if I want to look at just my agents, I could do that as well. And then there's also a refresh icon. Continuing down on the left side, engagement is everything engagement. So this is where you'll set up your email signature. Um, your work email will be here. You can always track and analyze um, all your workflow automations, whether it's birthdays, renewal reminders, and then any bulk text messaging that you would like to do or email campaigns. Um, there is also the ability um, to look at um, lists or create lists. All of your templates are here. If you wanted to set up a single contact drip for communication purposes. And then of course we have an awesome email template builder, um, which will allow you to create all kinds of email template builders, newsletters, communications, and such. Task list is here on the left-hand side. Um, some agents like to look at it as a card or some people like to look at it as a list. Totally up to you. Opportunities module would be where your opportunities are for renewals, X date, cross sell, um, and quickly see all of the monoline policies that you might have. And remember, you have filters. So if you wanted to filter further, you can. And then you can also um, do monoline by agents, carriers, or categories. Remember, categories are your lines of business. We have a document manager module. Um, Google reviews are here. Um, we also have a form builder, so you could utilize any of our templates and edit them accordingly, or you can create your own forms. The calendar would be connected um, if you are uh, G Suite or Outlook 365, um, then your calendar can be connected here. And then this is where you can create your scheduler page, which would allow you to create different types of meetings. Um, that you can utilize in communications. Work email would be connected here. So I'm in my demo account um, and work email uh, has a lot of functionality. So maybe you've been emailing back and forth with someone and you want to um, move them into the sales pipeline or create a task for somebody. So if you look at the emails, I'm going to go down to Kiera here and as many of you know, here is our awesome uh, training manager. And then from here, if I open up that email, I have the ability to add a task. Or if I wanted to move her into the pipeline because now she is um, getting a, a new ATV and I want to put her in the quote process. Or if I haven't connected with her before, I want to create her as an account or a contact. I can also map this email to an existing deal card, and then I can add this email to an existing contact. There's also uh, the ability uh, to track your sent emails. Um, again, if you see the three dots up here on the top right, you can search email as well. And then of course you can always refresh your page. And then Another module we have is we are integrated with a company called TransPay, um, which is a, a payment portal um, that you may be interested in. Um, and then reports feature. So whether you're an admin or an agent, you can see this unless your admin has changed the functionality or the permissions within the portal. So some of you may or may not see all of the modules because your leader or manager has removed those permissions. So again, this is just a basic overview of all the functionality within the portal. And then settings is another option here. So when you do connect your email, you would come into settings and then you would connect your email here. And then in the middle, you'll see these are the other integrations that we have with Ring Central, Lightspeed Voice are your phone, um, thanks.io is your postcard, note cards, and letters, 
We have Zapier integration. We also have integration with Sly Broadcast, which is a ringless voicemail. I just spoke earlier about TransPay, so that's a, um, a bill pay solution. We have integration with QuoteRush, and then of course, you connect your Google My Business page. Also on here, um, I remember I'm signed in as the admin. So these are all the web website widgets um, and what you can perform here. Um, restrictions, again, as I talked about. So if you cannot, as an agent, see some of the features or functionalities that I'm talking about, it's because your agent or admin or your manager and admin um, may have turned off the ability for you to perform certain tasks or see certain things. Um, and then users, um, basically this would be an admin setting um, so that you'd be able to see all of the users in the agency, as well as adding and removing members. And of course, editing them, managing their access, managing the different modules that they see as well. And then the last functionality here on the left is support. And so the best way to connect with us is um, through support here. And then if you look over on the bottom right, we have live chat. So this is the ability for you to chat with us. Um, and then sometimes an email is better because you may need to send us a screenshot or something um, on that nature. So here's where you can come in. And then of course, you know, select your um, category. Maybe you need to verify your email for campaigns, um, or you need to send us a request to get set up for Zapier, or you want it to get set up for texting. So that ability is there as well. And two other great areas of this page are Insured Mind Training and our Knowledge Base. So if you're a newer user, we, or even a current user, we certainly suggest that you come into the Insured Mind Training. And this is a third party training. So we have training for admin, and then we also have training for agents. So keep in mind that the credentials that you'll create here are separate from your Insured Mind credentials. So when you come in and you press sign in, if you are new to the training, then you'll want to come down here towards the bottom and create a new account. And then you can sign up and take the admin training or the agent training. They're excellent modules and they'll really give you a deeper understanding of all of the different functionalities within InSharpMind. And then last but not least is our knowledge base. So this should be a good go-to for you. Um, and knowledge base is everything in SuredMind. So these are all of the different modules that we have. Our new releases are always here. If you wanna learn more about all the different integrations, deeper understanding on pipeline, um, there is a host of resources here. So even if I just you know quickly opened up um, pipeline, you'd be able to see that you can dig deeper into a lot of the functionality within the portal. So I'm going to go back to the dashboard and just kind of want to recap everything that we've talked about, because there's a lot of functionality. And as you navigate through the portal, you'll learn a lot. So finally, on the dashboard, um, you know, these are all the different widgets and from the widget settings, you can come in here and change them. Or if you wanted to remove any of the widgets, you could do that. Um, you can also move them around. If you want to make them bigger, you can do that. And then just make sure you save your changes. And again, remember, as an agent, you may have a different view um, of the portal. So uh, keep that in mind. And then with that, I think that gives you a pretty good understanding of the features and functionalities of the portal. And we thank you very much for being a valued client, and we always look forward to working with you.